And it wouldn't hurt to stop and do that because automatic weapons now do 10% more damage. Hey, and we finished Machine Gunner. F***ing A, man. Get the big boy ready in case we get jumped. How is he? How's he not awake yet? Oh shit! Get away from that stuff. I think we picked the right gun for the job. Oh my god. I don't think the shotgun would have saved us with those three. Whew. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's take that. Let's read that. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. And, uh, there's wolves in the desert. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the thing. I, I recorded a bunch more footage after I left you guys in the last, last episode, uh, including that... Uh, you know, including uh, taking over Joel Hunick's residence here. And then I decided to scrap most of that. And here's why. Um, I rode around the town at night and just, uh, you know, the long and short of it is I just couldn't find or didn't find a place in this town that I would like to live in. Um, I can't even fully explain that to you. It's just nothing tickled my fancy. That's that's the best way I can explain it to you. Um, and so I think what we're going to do is I know there's another city to the south. I think we're going to go explore that city and see if there's something that does tickle my fancy. Um, so before we do that, let's go ahead and... 
I'll sell this uh, a couple extra more, you know, things to Bob here so we can lighten up a bit. I left a few more basic things over at the Hunick residence. I even don't mind me. I'm just working on. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll be dipped. Yeah. <laughs> you what? Um. Okay. Let's sell this to him. Um. I even left some stuff over there. You know, just basic stuff. I, I grabbed all the stuff that I just, you know, I thought was too felt was too valuable to leave there. Um. I'm gonna sell this to him too. Just. Well, do we? We already have you can't armor beat parts. That with a stick. I think I'd rather scrap that. It's gonna be more useful to us. I got machines that'll make your heart skip a beat. Um, so is there anything else I want to sell to him? Um, uh, yeah, I don't want to sell any of that stuff because at some point we'll probably be making an epic sniper rifle and an epic pistol and all that. So, um, I think that's all I'm gonna sell him. So cheaper doesn't always mean better. Okay, so. Yeah, what we're going to do is, what is it? It's day 41, so we're going to take a road trip to the southern desert city and see if I like like that place better. Um, because where I'm, you know, where we ultimately decide to base up at this point, and I, you know, I always reserve the right to change my mind, but at this point, it's where I'm planning on our permanent base to be for the whole rest of this playthrough. And, uh, you know, so I want it to be the right place. It needs to work for me. You know what I'm saying? Now, one thing that's really good about this city, though, is that it's very close to the wasteland and the snow biome. Um, so the bad thing about going south, you know, because Trader Hughes up here, we got Trader Joel. Um, so this is a really good location from that perspective. Um, and, you know, so if we go south, we're going to pretty much be restricting ourselves without, you know, traveling a long ways, of course, uh, to just the desert and the burned biome. But, you know, in the long run, especially once we get the gyrocopter, um, that's not going to be that big of a deal. And we can also have more than one base, too. You know, there's that as well. But... This next base that I'm setting up, like I said, my plan for that is for it to be our our main base. And so I want it to be the right place. And, you know, if we get to that to the southern desert and nothing nothing really excites me there either, then we'll just come back here and, you know, figure someplace out. I don't want to stay at Joel's house, though. Joel's house is just, it doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> um, you know, it yeah, it just doesn't. So... I'd like I'd like a more kind of a more modern architecture type of place. Like there's a wilderness POI that's been in the game for a couple of alphas now. I don't remember what it's called, but it's it's got it's a multi-level house and it's got a lot of glass and it's a really nice modern looking place. I'd love to to live there, but I haven't seen it uh, nowhere in this town anywhere because I've, I've pretty much been through this entire town. Um, well, except for. There's a little spot over here we didn't go through, I guess. And I just, you know, like I said, I didn't see anything that I really liked. So so we'll just check out the southern town. This is new. Johnson's Warehouses. Or it's new to me, anyways. I don't remember seeing this POI. Um, There's just a, one spot over here I guess we didn't see, but... Oh, it's got a kind of a destroyed oil tank. A little bit of a, a water area. Hey! Cut that out. So it's just over there, but I think that's the maybe the prison. <laughs> now this game jail. Okay. Yeah, so let's head south and see see what we can find in the southern city. Even though it'll be a, not not as good of a location, if we can find a really nice place to live, I think that would be my druthers. Because, again, later on, you know, we'll be able to travel, especially when we get the gyrocopter, we'll be able to travel wherever the hell we want to. And, you know, even set up outposts and stuff. So, the question then is, does this highway... 
Where does this highway lead to? I guess we'll have to figure that one out, right? Oh, I love this bridge. This is cool. Hopefully it doesn't collapse. <laughs> that would suck. This game used to have a problem with collapsing bridges a long time ago. Of course, they've long, long since fixed that issue, but yeah. But it kind of it it kind of has instilled in me a little bit of dread going across the bridge <laughs> in this game because you'd you'd get on the bridge and you start walking across it and then the whole thing would collapse and dump you in the drink. It was funny. They just didn't have the stability correct on it or whatever. <clears throat> So we're going to go over a little bit of a mountain pass here. We'll skip all of these vehicles for now. I can always come back and wrench those later and loot them. We will, of course, continue looting cop cars when we come across them, though. Okay, so yeah, this highway f uh, comes to a fork and then it... Or a T, rather, and it starts heading south, which is exactly what we want it to do I just remember you know when we generated the map when we first started this series that there was two decent sized cities in in this uh, desert not as big as the ones in the wasteland but that's typical we're gonna need to put some fuel on this thing have one more actually can we do this oh yeah even better uh, let's sort that and we'll put I don't know we'll put the pistol parts in there okay I like to be in the desert it's a nice change of pace and we haven't had, had any heat issues either so hopefully that will trend will continue and then we won't even need to put any more points in the temperature skills okay we have um we have what looks like a town here not a city so i think this is yeah i don't think this is the other city because it's not big enough to be a city That looks like another Trader Bob there. Yep, I believe that is another Trader Bob. Nice. We'll stop and see what he's got for sale. Okay, let's just do a real quick loot ski here. I'm only going to hit the workstations and the fuel. I'm not going to loot all the other stuff. Uh, I guess we'll take that cement. There we go. Uh, we'll take the iron too, because we we already have some of that. All right, I'm not looting that. Oh man, what the hell? Hey, yeah, we'll take those. Um, yeah, you know what? I know there's stuff to loot there, but I don't want to spend a lot of time doing that right now. We'll check the vehicles too. That was kind of a waste of time, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. What's those? Raider boots. Safe fall distance. Okay. Probably sell those because I have green uh, miner boots. Which I would prefer to have. Let's check these shelves real quick. Nothing really good there. A lot of shit in that thing. All right. Greetings, survivor. Greetings. I help. Why don't you take a look for yourself? Okay, you can have that and those, and I'm not even going to fix those up. You can have those. I should probably actually have just scrap those, but whatever. Not a big deal. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to keep the seeds. Not not while we're on the road. And uh, let's even here. Do you want to buy that? He probably doesn't want to buy that. Nope. Okay, what do you have for sale, man? Got a crucible. That's good. Generator bank. Got three forge ahead magazines. We need one more tarp, but I'm not going to buy that right now because it's just going to stay in our inventory and take up a spot. 
Because that's something you can buy all the time. Got another rad remover. Agility mod. Got a yellow SMG. Okay, he doesn't really have anything repair kits. that I'm interested in. Up or have your gun jam on you. No, you don't. Okay, let's move on. Top this off. Let's go. So I'm assuming this highway continues to the south. Yeah, I can see it out in the distance there. Let's just quickly go to what would, I guess, be the downtown portion of this place just to see if we can find a cop car real quick. And it wouldn't hurt to stop and do that because automatic weapons now do 10% more damage. Hey, and we finished Machine Gunner. Fucking A, man. Um, let's read those. What do we get for that? Machine Gunner. Where... Oh, automatic weapon handbook. Each kill boosts your run speed by 20% for 20 seconds. Wow. So, does that can just keep stacking and <laughs> until you're going at the speed of light? Hmm. I mean, that could be really handy when you're in a tight spot. And trust me, we're going to be in tight spots later on. Yes, we are. I'm just, I, I love it, you know, absolutely love it. I'm just curious, though, how much does that stack? I mean, you could get to a point where you're moving so fast you can't control yourself. I'm sure it's probably got some kind of a limit. But a 20% increase each time is, that's going to ramp up quickly, man. I'm not seeing any cop cars here. Okay, well, this is the road out of town, so let's take it. Oh, there's a cop car here at this, uh... uh what the hell is this thing called? It's got kind of a weird name. Deracinated, that's what it... That's the name of this deracinated domicile. Got that on the first try, but didn't get anything all that great out of it. Let's check the semi. Eh. Eh. Might as well check the tool truck as well. And then we then we'll get moving here. Alright, there we go. Honey? No honey. Looks like we're going to go over another mountain pass here. Okay, now we're coming into the city. And looks like we found another Trader Bob already. Nice. Let's do the normal Trader Bob thing. Fuel. And we'll check vehicles. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Nothing in there, man. Well, nothing as in no forge ahead magazines. Cotton? Seriously? What the hell? Oh, we're hungry. Let's have something to eat and drink here. There we go. Getting closer to being able to make our own crucible. We have gasoline over here. And let's see, there's gas here. There's these shelves.
and uh, this gas here and this you're just in time to check out our specials all right let's check out your specials looking to motor around Doesn't want that. I'm not selling glue. I'm not going to sell six rocket launcher parts either. You can have that. Um, do you want those? Nope. Okay, those got to go. Okay, I think that's it. All right, let's see what he has. He's got three more forge aheads. Um, well, no, I'm not going to buy those right now. I mean, I could, but this is, I'll buy 20% greater chance of knocking down the target. Yeah, we'll, de we'll definitely do that. Double armor pocket mod strength. Uh, implant thingy. Got a green compound to bow. I haven't seen any trader with anything higher than green level armor. Is that the norm? They don't sell like blue, I guess. Well, holy shit. I knew you were going to buy something. <laughs> oh, we just finished archery. Nice. Um. Okay, archery is here. Bulk craft arrows and bolts. That's one of the most useless fucking things I can think of. Who needs to do that? I mean, maybe for multiplayer, right? Ah, uh, that's disappointing. Hey, you know what? I think we may have... Yeah, we have uh, this to do. Redeem uh, Meet Bob. And also find Desert. Okay. Well, hot dog. And that gives Let's us out the lights. this. Work. Night Stalker Volume 1. What does that do? 10% more sneak damage at night. Yeah, I think we'll do that. All right. Very good. Uh, okay, I think we're finished here. Let's uh, start looking around the town here. Where did I park? Over here. I already got the gas out of that. Gotta see what we got going on here. Just these two yahoos? Okay. Close the door. Okay, let's check this town out. Oh, okay, I already see a Deshong Tower. Uh, we didn't have that in the other city, so that's a good sign. Um, and then there's, I think that's the Seven Days Suite. So that's going to be a good POI to do. Y'all get over yourself. Alright, so that road goes that direction. Just kind of looking to see what there is to see here. If uh, any of you did not watch my last Undead Legacy series, which I think I did on Alpha 20 or 21, um, I actually lived at, in the top of the Deshong Tower. And uh, because Undead Legacy has those big elevators you can build, that's ultimately how we got up and down. It was it actually worked quite well. First try. All right, all good stuff. Let's check this while we're here. Nice miss. Uh, 
Gonna check the medical too. Since we love to encumber ourselves. Um, I'm not gonna take actually either one of those things right now. Not a high priority. Hey, didn't I just kill you? Oh, no stamina. Okay, so... The strong will lead into downtown. There's a crack of book. That's nice. Uh, what's this place over here? Oh, that's that uh, Zuckerberg mansion place. That could be a fun place to live. Ooh. Yeah, we could like live here. It's already it's already got a wall in place, a concrete wall. J uh, Jeffalon Zuckergate's estate. <laughs> it's a it's a tier four. Um. All right, that's a really uh, that's a really high candidate. I think it would be really fun to live there. You could live the high life in the apocalypse. All right, let's keep this definitely keep this in mind. Um, but let's keep looking around. Yeah, that would be cool to live there. Okay. Got like a little pond over here. It just kind of gets out into the rural area. See now this place here would also be kind of a fun place to, to live because uh, it's again kind of got that modern design. It's got a swimming pool. And it's not it's not even finished, you know, being constructed so we can finish the construction on it. What is it called? Uh, oh, it's an uninhabited mansion. We could change that. The uninhabited part, that is. Okay, that's a, that's also a, a solid candidate for what I'm looking for. Um. Okay, so let's do this. Let's call this. Uh, let's see, save waypoint. And we'll call this home two. And this is Zuckerberg here, I think. There we go. Okay, so we have those two marked. Lux. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Which isn't surprising because there's a lot of nice new POIs. Jim's Jim. Rogue nerds stay away. Oh, we got a military guy here. A feral military guy, no less. Yeah, I already like this town better than the other one. I mean, it's got Deshong, it's got two already potential places for us to live that kind of fit what I'm looking for. Um, it's just, I, I wish this town was up in the north, though, instead of the south. <laughs> but, you know, I guess you can't have everything, right? Okay. He did. Okay, so. Um, let's go this way. We got Joe Bros. We got this office building place. I was gonna snipe uh, you, but I guess I'll shotgun you instead. That works. 
Everybody's coming out. They're all taking a late lunch from their office jobs. You too? Um, alright, so... Joe Bros. That'd be kind of fun to... I haven't been in a Joe Bros in a long time. And they've changed it from what it used to be. That's been in the game for a long time. Little coffee shop there. Looks like the part of that road's made out of coal. Info center. Oh, that's neat. Look at that courtyard down there. With the fountain and everything. Never seen that one before either. Oh, this is the upside down, or not upside down, but sideways building. Oh, look at that. Uh, leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies and have a chance to dismember. And we have finished Sniper. Uh, what does that give us? Bulk Craft 7, 6, uh, again, <laughs> a little bit uh, anticlimactic if you ask me, but whatever. Now we can sell. Um, we're not grabbing paper right at the moment. In fact, let's not even worry about that right now either. Okay, so... Bowling down here. <laughs> Lots of ferals around. Guys are so violent. Says the dude with the shotgun that's blowing their heads off. Um, we can make a quality five AK. All right. Uh, we're gonna leave that stuff for now because inventory space. Right in the ass. You want to play too? And you. I think the birds are now ready to try and eat us because we're hurt bad enough, badly enough for that. Um, why don't we also take this? Freeze up the slot. Okay. See what's over on this end of town. I think that's the Zomboner Hotel or whatever the hell that place is called. Okay, let's go this way. Passing gas store. Some industrial locations. The mansion that's been in the game forever. And then back out to some rural area. Okay. That's like a big warehouse place. I think that's the paper mill, isn't it? Yeah. It is. P&B machining. Oh, no, guess that isn't. Something different. Check the tool truck. Well, I think that, like I said, we have two really good candidates in this town. One of them's the uninhabited mansion, the other one's the Zuckerberg place. They're both going to require a significant amount of work. 
I mean, to fix up and look nice. Um, the nice thing about the Zuckerberg place, though, is that it's already got a concrete wall around it, whereas this one has a wooden fence that we'd have to upgrade to concrete, which we could do. Uninhabited mansion. Um, I'll tell you what let's do. Why don't we clear both of the places, and then after we clear them, I'll have a little bit better feel for which one tickles my fancy the most. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> why don't we see if we can knock this one out now, and then we'll, we'll have to do the Zuckerberg one later because it's getting on in the day, and... Um, we might need to, to get back. Well, we will need to get back, you know, for, and get ready for Horde Night. But, uh, let's see if we can get through this one. It's a, it's a, a th tier three, so it shouldn't be absolutely atrocious. Everybody wants to eat me. You know what I should have act should do is go back to the trader and see if he actually has a quest for this place. Because here's the thing, if we if we do end up taking it over and we put the land claim, then you can it basically cancels any questing at the place so you don't accidentally reset your base, which is a good thing. That's exactly something I would probably do if I wasn't paying attention. Um Let's just go see what he has for tier three jobs. Um and, you know, even if we go into nighttime a little bit, it's not a big deal. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. If you got the dukes, we've got the wheels. I've got a little coin if you got the elbow grease. Well, you're as yeller as mo- Are you looking for work? I've got some- Until you take a job, I've got some work for you, and it's not- Getting you to take a job, I've got a little coin if you got the elbow- These jobs, I think I've got a few jobs. You're as worthless as a side saddle on a saw. <laughs> okay, he doesn't- <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, side saddle on a sow? Is that what he said? Yeah, he doesn't have any jobs for that place. But, okay. Well, at least we know now. All right. Let's go ahead and set down a storage chest so we're not fighting inventory the whole time. Okay. Let's do this place. Never been in here. I think this is a new POI. Maybe. Um, actually, no. Let's do it the normal way, just so we kind of get the feel for how it was designed. We go around this way. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get started here. I restarted the game to see if we could get rid of that weird overlap that we were having on the HUD there. Nice pool. Well, partially completed pool. We could finish it, though. Um, do, the, do they want us to go into here? Have I done this POI before? Maybe I have. Actually. Oh. We got a greenie. Let's take a small bandage, because that kind of hurt. We'll save the large ones for when we really need them. Definitely has the feel of a place that's under construction. I can't get through there. Okay. Do we have 
any points. We do. <clears throat> um, we can't do penetrator. So I think we're going to switch over to strength now. And let's um, take that. And now we have an effective five, which means we can now add more to boomstick, skull crusher, the mining skills, and heavy armor. Those are the ones in particular that I'm interested in. Zombo closet there. Yep. Yep, this is that other bathroom. Let's leave that there. So the one thing about this place, of course, is we have to really really fix it up which is not a bad thing necessarily we can fix it up to our liking all right what's in here We already have green miner gloves. Oh man, the wall safe is. So this is like the walk-in closet here. It's kind of neat. There's an ammo pile up there. That's just other stuff. This is probably a construction crate. Yeah. Nice bathroom. That's not nice. <laughs> Easily fixable, though. Zombo back here, probably. Yep. Oh, shit. There we go. Where's that coming from? Oh shit. Greeny. Gotta get right up into his face. This is really neat out here. I like this. Very cool. There's the loot room. Let's take another one of these. Plus that gives us another slot too. And we can do this too. How about that, eh? Any uh, preemptive strikes from up here? Not that I can see. Those two guys came down from up here. Or came up from down here. <laughs> my everything all bass backwards there. What? What is that texture? I don't even recognize that. I mean, it looks like like a broken concrete texture or something. This is interesting looking. This this grate here. engine I wonder if there's zombies in the porta potties Let's find out Nope 
Okay. Let's move into the ground floor. I really like this. This is cool looking. Is that the main stash? I don't think it is. All right, we got some company here. we have <clears throat> it's taking too damn long to break the door down this would be the kitchen area with a full skylight Nice. I mean, we don't need it, but it's a nice find. I'll leave that there. That fridge is all. These things are all out of place, so I'd have to. What I typically do for something like that, if I can't craft it, is I just spawn it in from creative to fix it, you know, put it back where it's supposed to be. So that's like the living room. This is pretty cool looking in here. I like these stairs. I see something else move back there. What are we encumbered with? Uh, we don't need those. We really don't need 33 cobblestone either. Nor do we need two paper. Um, I'm even going to throw out that. And this we can... Man, we don't have enough to make enough duct tape to free up a slot, so we'll just leave it the way it is for the moment. Let's go in here. I see a foot down there. Oh, there's the stash. This is the final party, huh? Okay. Let's get behind this door so we have a little bit of... Are they coming this way? What are you guys doing? Trying to break through here? 
Oh, now they're coming. Oh, shit. Through the door. Except for somebody opened the front door, I wonder who that was. Okay. Open these up. bag and the lock chest what are those nomad boots run speed they are heavy armor oh got a treasure map too which is great um okay so we need to make room for those let um let's just read this we don't have to do it now. We can do it whenever we want to. Since I'm 99% sure we're going to move here to this town. Um, let's just eat that. There we go. I like this town a lot better than the other one. Um, primarily, I, I think, because... Well, for a, few, a couple reasons. It's got the two really nice places we could live based upon what I'm looking for. But it's also got the Deshong Tower, and I don't know, I just like the layout of the town better. I think it looks better than the other one. Alrighty, so, um, I'm going to basically leave everything here that we don't need to take back with us because of the fact that um, we're going to actually be bringing stuff from there back to here. So it doesn't make sense to haul all that shit back there just to bring it back here, right? Um, so all of this stuff can stay here. We're out of food for the trip back. So even though I know I can use those in recipes, I think I'm going to actually take them. All right, guys. So here's the deal. Um, it's uh, day 41. Let's look at our map here. Oh, the treasure map is right next to Bob. A uh, trader, a uh, trader, Bob. That's amazing. Okay. So what I'm inclined to do is see, this is our town here. I'm inclined to cut a road. Uh, well, actually, what we'll do is we'll follow the, you know, any roads leading out of town heading east and or north. Well, not really north, but east. And see if we can intersect with this highway here, because then we have highway all the way home. Um, a more direct route would even be to maybe try and intersect with this highway. So that's what I'm going to do. And even if I have to, I mean, it depends upon how, how much work it'll take. But if I have to even cut a road, uh, you know, across country, I'll do that. I'd like to, I'd like to have repair kits with me though. So let's just turn all of these into repair kits. So that way we can repair our tools if we need to. Um, we don't need we don't need to take that with us or that because those are no longer our weapons or never were in the case of the compound bow. 
We still have two things to drink there, so we're okay for beverage. I think. But we're not, you know, I'm not going to be spending a really long time doing that either because we got to get back and do Horde Night. So, yeah, the plan's going to be then uh, is, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going to try and work my way back to that town uh, in the burned biome so we can intersect with the highway and, you know, create, if, we, if need be, our own road so we have a little more direct route to get here. And I think I'm going to do that off camera, but I will. Oh, these are the new residential places. I will keep the camera, you know, ready in case anything crazy happens. But yeah, see, there's no, there's no roads at all over here. And with that, I'm going to let you go here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.